Bia Ora. New Zealand is a strategic uh, corporate partner uh, in the Indo-Pacific region. Thank you for hosting me, my delegation, and, and I look forward to our discussions in this meeting and over the dinner about how we can strengthen it. まず安全保障、防衛協力について、私から日本として新たな国家安全保障戦略に基づき、自由で開かれた国際秩序の維持・発展のため、同志国との安全保障上の協力を強化していく、そしてこのような観点からニュージーランドとの協力を重視している旨を申し上げました。その上で両国間で安全保障、防衛協力の基盤となる、情報保護協定の早期締結に取り組み、加速化することで一致をいたしました。地域の戦略環境が大きくこの変化する中で、本日、マフタ大臣との間で、新たな太平洋島し国地域における協力に関する日ニュージーランド外相共同宣言を発出をいたします。地域の強靭性、一体性といった共通の目標に向かい、海洋安全保障、気候変動、インフラなどの島し国の優先事項につき、一層連携をしてまいります。I was pleased to launch with Minister Hayashi a refreshed Japan Aotearoa New Zealand Declaration on cooperation in the Pacific Islands region to help guide our work in this important area. The declaration sets out how Japan and New Zealand envision, envisage collaborating in the Pacific region in areas such as climate change and sustainable development in line with our region's priorities. This will help deliver a peaceful, stable, prosperous, and resilient Pacific in line with the 2050 strategy for the Blue Pacific Continent. Advanced security cooperation with like minded countries to maintain and develop free and open. Our discussions have underlined that we share many of the same concerns about security trends in the Indo Pacific. We are committed to deepening our security partnership to help protect peace. And the rules based order in our region and beyond. To this end, we welcomed good progress on negotiations towards an Aotearoa New Zealand Japan security information sharing agreement. Thank you very much, Minister Mafta. I would like to conclude the joint press announcement. Thank you for your participation today.